Hello tarot friends, and we're back. I had to stop because I was going to run out of space, and I didn't want it to just eat up my um, video like it's done before. So, unfortunately, I did have to divide it up into two parts. So, we'll just continue on. So, the Eight of Swords was quite the shocker for me when I flipped that one. I don't know what I think about it. Um, it fits. It fits really well. So that's all I've got to say about Oh, the nine. Yeah, I mean, that definitely fits. So what else is there to say? It's very sad. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Okay. This is mysterious. I don't get this one really at all. Huh. Yeah, this... That, I mean, we all know what the Ten of Swords... Ten of Swords is one that's really memorable, so... It's not one that you really need um, a visual cue on so much. Page of Swords... She's a little cutie pie, so I don't know. That's pretty cute. This is she Pippi Longstocking? She could be. Knight of Swords, again. That's cute. I do like that. I'm gonna get closer. See now. This knight has. A motorcycle, which could represent a horse, and it just makes sense. And it's good for the swords, too, because the swords um, is charging in. So, a motorcycle is a good fit. Uh, I like that. Queen of Swords. Oh, yes. The Queen of Swords sometimes is seen as a widow, and she's so she's depicted as a widow here. King of Swords. Nice. I do like that. We have coins. Our generic ace. One thing that is different is... Um, oh, we do have the archway, which you see in a lot of the ace cards. Uh, for the ace of coins, or the ace of pentacles. That's kind of interesting that they work that in there. Um, I was going to say, and we have all the greenery. We have the earth, so we see that it is earth. And I think the other ones probably had um, symbols of their um, corresponding element as well. But that one popped out more at me than anything else. So two of coins, she's doing double dutch. That's really cool. I like that. That, that really is clever. I like it. I'm surprised it's the first time I've seen that idea. So that's cool. Three of coins. Hmm. Okay. So we have a seamstress. It works because it's a type of work, I suppose. And you need a pattern. And I do think of the three as having to do with plants and things. Um, the four of coins, so she's holding the one very closely, that makes sense. Yeah, that fits, that's a fitting card. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> really sad, the sad ones are so sad, it's like, they're so cute, the cards are so cute overall, that the sad ones are just so sad to me. And here we have the six of coins. This is weird because she's sort of, meh, like, I don't care. Just tossing some money away to a beggar. Oh, let's see, this cup. I don't know. Her, like, her attitude is something. Seven of coins. Hmm. Don't always, this is depicted so many different ways. Sometimes it's depicted as like, as rest, and sometimes, I mean, it's usually kind of a rest, but sometimes it's depicted as 
uh, sort of satisfaction in hard work, and other times it's depicted more as this is more of a negative ish depiction. Like, I feel more of the um, frustration, I guess, or the unhappiness in this than um, a lot of them. Ha! This one's pretty cool. The Eight of Coins. I can't wait. Oh, I got a yawn. Sorry, guys. I can't wait to check out the book, and maybe I'll come back sometime and let you know what I think about this cute little deck. The Nine of Coins. There's yelling on the TV behind me, and I don't know what's going on. I gotta go rewatch because I miss so much. Okay, nine of coins. I'm really trying not to hear that. Nine of coins. Okay, yeah, all right, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that works. That works. Ten of coins. She has a lot of nine of coins feel to her, and she's alone, and I don't like that. Um, she's got the house. But she's alone, and that just doesn't really work for the night for the ten of coins for me. Uh, page of coins is cute, nice. Uh, knight of coins, good, I like it. Queen of coins, okay. And the king of coins, she's a baller. Yeah, she is a baller. So that is the Vanessa Tarot, and these are the Vanessa Tarot backs, which are really beautiful. Um, you know I like that color. They look a little darker. They're a little brighter in person than what they look, but um, they're still really nice. So that's it for part two, the Vanessa Tarot, and I can't wait to give it a go, use it in some readings, and I'll let you know what I think. Uh, until next time, be well, and leave your comments and your likes, and, of course, subscribe and hit the bell. Um, take care, and we'll see you soon.